Hey friends, well, what on earth have we got here? This is uh, an interesting beast. Um, I actually dug this machine out of the garage ages ago uh, because I really wanted to do a video of it. Um, so I plugged it in, uh, started to get it set up, tested it just to make sure it was working okay. Um, and then whilst I was doing that, the suppressor blew on it and filled the room with smoke. And I've just got the suppressor here. So I finally got round to taking it out. Um, as you can see there, if I hold that up to the lens, you can see that um, it really went quite badly. Um, it's got some burn marks there and all the smoke came out and everything and it was, uh, it was pretty awful. So what have we got here? Well, frankly, I'm not really sure. It's, um, it's branded a Global Tech Guardian. Um, and from what research I've done on the internet of it, there is one in Finland, I believe. Uh, um, I think it's a Global Tech Renaissance. So the Guardian is probably the lower, um, lower model version to the Renaissance. So I just had a quick look on Wikipedia and I'll just read to you what it said because this is this is it's quite obvious from its um, designer style that it's actually an Aeros made machine and Aeros was Electrolux so if I just read this to you Aeros LLC formerly Electrolux Corporation USA manufactures vacuum cleaners carpet cleaners and air purifiers it is headquarters in headquartered in Dallas Texas and has over 500 independently owned franchises in the US and Canada Aeros is the successor to Electrolux USA, the iconic manufacturer of vacuum cleaners. However, the Electrolux name is now used in the US by the Electrolux Group of Sweden, which also manufactures Eureka vacuum cleaners. Um, so just uh, to skip forward a little bit, in 1968, Consolidated Foods Corporation, now known as Sarah Lee Corporation, acquired Electrolux. In 1989, Electrolux Corporation USA created Pure Lux, the first residential under the sink water, water purification system, blah, blah, blah. Um, we're not really interested in that. In 2000, the North American rights to the Electrolux brand name was sold to Electrolux Group of Sweden, which was previously unaffiliated since 1968. The corporation that originally manufactured Electrolux vacuums has been known as Aeros since 2001. So I guess what we've got here is, well, it's an Aeros vacuum cleaner, but manufactured for the European market using the global tech name so i guess global tech must be must be part of aeros which was formerly electrolux usa which was which since 1968 was not the electrolux we know and love um that doesn't explain quite why the hell it's here um and in fact if you look at the end of the hose here it's got a label on it just let me focus that there we go As you see it's 230 volts it's quite clearly marked as 230 volts so it must have been made for europe I've no idea why it's in the UK. It's uh, it's one of those bizarre things, quite possibly brought over by somebody from Europe when they moved to the UK. I can't actually remember where I got it from. I think I bought it on eBay many, many years ago. The machine itself is probably 2004-ish. Um, but yeah, it's quite a mystery and it is, it's a bizarre, a bizarre creation. If you look at it, it's just this great big filter here that sticks off the top like a mushroom um there's no controls or switches on the cleaner itself it's all done via the handle which i'll show you uh and then it just has a built-in tools here most of which are missing i've only got the uh dusting brush which is incredibly high quality actually that's i think that's proper horsehair it's not plastic it's quite um it's quite good it's quite well well made it's probably a very expensive machine when it was sold it's probably one of the door-to-door -door sales type um, as it says in Wikipedia that there is a, um, a distribution network which which would be door to door. So yeah, anyway, let's um, get it set up and turned on and we'll see it in action. Let's go.
Okay, so this is the, I hope you can see that on the lens there, this is the Sidekick 2. So this is a mini powered nozzle. <laughs> it's pretty mental actually. You really do want to put your hand near that brush when it's running. Uh, it's, uh, it's obviously with the machine's incredibly powerful suction, your hand gets pulled into the brush and trust me, it hurts. Uh, so let's, uh, let's see the Sidekick 2 in action. So there we go, that's, uh, that's the video of the uh, very, very strange Global Tech Guardian. If anybody knows any history about this machine, any idea what it's doing in the UK, how it was sold, what year it's from, uh, please leave a comment below the, the video. Thanks a lot. Bye.